In HealthWorks this morning, fat shaming. Dr. Garth Davis from Memorial Hermann Memorial City is here to talk about that and how it could affect children. Good morning to you. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Happy let's, to be here. Uh, let's first of all talk about fat shaming. Give us an example of what a parent might say to their child if they're concerned about their weight and they are fat shaming. You know, I see this all the time dealing with obesity as the main part of my specialty. Mm -hmm. and, and the fat shaming goes as far as saying it's all in your mind. Just do what I do. Just do what your friends do. Comparing it as if this is something wrong in the brain that you're not doing it right now. Mm -hmm. The facts of the matter, the American Medical Society came out and said obesity is a disease. And that's where I really saw fat shaming because they announced that obesity is a disease and all of a sudden, all over social media, they were saying this is ridiculous, it's not a disease, it's all in the mind, just do as I do. And what they don't understand is this is a genetic disease. There are actually hormonal differences. So they did a study where they took people that were overweight, they put them in an MRI, they showed them food, and parts of their head light up in people that are overweight that are not in, in in thin people and those parts of the brain that light up are not the parts of the brain that are thought provoking it's the parts mm -hmm. of the brain that are hardwired and what we see is that people that are overweight are hungrier they have slower metabolism and it's not as simple as just eat less okay so we need to know that you you've got to be understanding in this and really help your children what's the right way to go about if you're concerned about your child's weight or even your own weight you can put this toward yourself right well the right way to do this is to understand that this this is a disease this is this is not a psychological problem. This is not something that necessarily needs to be seen by a psychiatrist. This needs to be managed by an obesity doctor and with the appropriate means that we treat obesity in this day and age. Which is? What is the, the best suggestion? There's, there's all kinds of things. There's behavioral therapy modification. There's medications that help with some of the genetic pro problems. And in morbid obese patients, surgery is a very, very good option. Now, when we're talking about obesity, you're not just talking about someone who's a few pounds overweight. You're talking about severely obese where we've got a serious health issue going on. Right. We're definitely not talking about, you know, looking good for the summer bikini. We're talking about people that have serious weight issues that have gotten to the point that they're seriously affecting their lives. And I really say this all the time. Obesity has become the last bad of discrimination. A lot of these people that are overweight can't get a job. Uh, they get discriminated on by their friends and their family, and it's a very lonely life for them. It is, especially for kids. They can be bullied, and it can become a very difficult thing. So getting it under control can change their entire lives. It absolutely can, and they feel guilty, and they feel shamed, and they feel at a loss because they think this is something that's in their brain, and they should be able to handle it when really they do need some medical help. Dr. Davis, thanks for coming in from Memorial Harmon today. Happy to. Thank you.